Welcome back to another video everyone in this computer organization course and I want to welcome you back to my channel. So today we will be focusing on signed binary numbers. So what exactly is signed binary numbers? So what it is is it's a representation of a number in positive form and its negative form. So uh, let's just get this started. So before we begin, please make sure you know how to convert from binary to decimal and vice versa, decimal to binary. And you have to understand the sum of powers method. So what exactly is the sum of powers method? So let's say we have some 8-bit register that is this value, right? You need to know how to convert into decimal format. So what is this in decimal form? So what it is is 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, and this was 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, and 2 to the 6. You need to figure out which place places or have the value of 1. So for example, in this one, it's going to be 2 to the 6 plus 2 to the 5 plus 2 to the 2 plus 2 to the 1. And that's going to be 32. 32. 64, 4, and 2. So this is 6, and this is 96, which is 102 in, in decimal form. So 102. So that is how we do the decimal, the, the sum of powers method. So what is signed number representations? What are some ways that we can represent a signed number? So the first one is the signed magnitude, and that's the way that's the one we will be focused on today. So it consists of a signed bit, which is the leftmost bit. So let's say we have an 8-bit register. So what I mean by 8-bit register, we have eight places: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it consists of a signed bit, which is the leftmost bit. Leftmost bit. So what I mean by that is the leftmost bit is the sign bit. So one corresponds corresponds to negative and zero corresponds to positive number. So here, what we're looking at is this place is two to zero, one, two, three, and two to the four. And this sign bit has no value. It only consists of either changing from positive to negative. So it doesn't add to the total. So what we're looking at is 2 to the 4 plus 2 to the 0, which is 16 plus 1. So the value of this one right here is negative 17 because this right here corresponds to a negative sign bit number. This right here is 16 plus 1. So there's a couple other ways we can represent these sign numbers. So there is one's complement and there's two complement. Two's complement, I, I apologize. So two's complement is the most widely used uh, way of uh, doing sign bit numbers. So what exactly is signed magnitude representation? So like I said before, the leftmost bit is the sign bit and zero corresponds to positive and one corresponds to negative. So let's figure this out using a bit register, an 8-bit register that represents plus 45 and negative 45. So let's figure out these numbers. So we have 0, 0, we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So we have 2 to the 0 for this place, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, and 2 to the 5. So let's add these up. 2 to the 3, plus 2 to the 2, plus 2 to the 0. What are these values? So this value is 32. This value is 8. 
this value is 4, and this value is 1. So what is this? 40 plus 5 equals 45. And this leftmost bit decides if it's positive or negative. So since this bit is a 0, this is going to be plus plus 45. Let's do the same exact thing for the, the one under. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 3, plus 2 to the 2, plus 2 to the 0. And remember, the sign bit does not add to the value. You're not adding anything. This only changes if it's positive or negative. So, same thing. It's going to have the value 45. And this is going to decide if it's positive or negative. So, the value of 1 of the leftmost bit corresponds to negative. So, this value over here is going to be negative 45. All right, so there's properties of sine magnitude that can be really, really weird, just to say it plainly. So we have, we have 0, 0, 0, and 0, and the leftmost bit. So what does this number represent? So if all of this is 0, it's just going to be 0, and the leftmost sine bit is zero so that means it's positive so positive zero what about one zero 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 the leftmost bit is one which corresponds to negative and this has a value of zero so this is negative zero so it can be really weird that we have multiple sign representations of zero because as you know in math zero can is not positive or negative but there's, there's other numbers uh, that, you know, for example, 1, negative 1 and plus 1, uh, they, they're able to have multiple positive and negative. So here's an example using a 4-bit register. We have 0, 0, 0, 1. Sine bit is 0, so that's positive. We have 2 to the 2, 2 to the 1, and 2 to the 0. So we have positive. 1. Remember, 2 to the 0 is just 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. Our sine bit is negative. And we have the same thing, 2 to the 0. So we have negative 1. What about 5? 1, 1, 0, 1. Our sine bit is 1, which is negative. We have 2 to the 2 and 2 to the 0, which is 4 plus 1 equals 5 and our sine bit is negative and it would be this it would pretty much be the same answer except positive if you had it the opposite way with the sine bit being zero so let's do a couple problems and this is asking for what is positive 17 and negative 17 using an 8 bit register so i want to have 8 bits in my register so it's going to be pretty much in the form of 8 bits. So we have 8 bits right here. So I want it to look something like this. All right, so we're going to come up with our little graph to figure out what our powers of 2 equal. And this is important when we're trying to convert from decimal to binary. So that's why I asked you guys to remember that and the sum of power method. All right. So, this equals 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. All right, so what is the highest value that goes into 17 without going over? So, 32 does not go into 17, 16 does. So, we are left with 1. And what is the highest power of 2 that goes into 1 without going over? 8 does not, 4 does not, 2 does not, but 1 does. And we are left with 0. 
So what are those two values? It's 2 to the 4 and 2 to the 0. So we're going to use an 8-bit register. So we want to have 8 placeholders. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I'm going to do another one for our negative value. 6, 7, and 8. So we want to place a 1 at 2 to 0, and we want to place a 1 at 2 to the 4. I'm going to place a 1 here. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, so now we want to figure out which one is our positive and which one is our negative. So I'm going to say this is our positive. So we want to add a sign bit of zero to the end of the positive one. And I want this to be our negative. So we're going to add a one to the end of this one. And we are going to fill the rest of these with zeros. All right. And that's 17. So up here is plus 17 because our leftmost bit is 0. And the bottom one, our leftmost bit is 1 for, for our negative 17. So we're going to do plus 6 and negative 6 using a 4-bit register. 0, 0, 0, 0. So we want 4 places. All right. Let's do our little graph again. You really don't need to if you know how to. So 2 to 3 is 8, 4, 2, and 1. So what is the highest power of 2 that goes into 6 without going over? 8 does not, but 4 does. We are left with 2. And what is the highest power of 2 that goes into 2? This value right here. And what are these values? So we found 2 to the 2 and 2 to the 1 to correspond to these values. So we want to do a 4-bit register. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And 1 for negative. And 4. So I want this one to be positive, And I want this one to be negative. So I want to add 1s to 2 to the 1 and 2 to the 0. Right here, right here. Same thing for the bottom. Now I'm going to change the sign bit. This one is positive, so I'm going to add a 0 to the leftmost bit and a 1 to the leftmost bit for this one because it's negative. And fill the rest with zeros. So this right here is 6, positive 6, and the bottom one is negative 6 using an eight, a four bit register. And now we want to figure out plus 103 and negative 103 using an eight bit register. So let's do the same thing we've been doing before. Figure out what the powers of two are. All right, two to the four, two to the five, two to the six and two to the seven. This is one, two, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. What is the highest power of 2 that goes into 103 without going over? 128 does not, it goes over. 164, I'm sorry, 64 goes into it beautifully. And we are left with 39. 32 goes into that beautifully. We are left with 7. 16 does not go into 7. 8 does not go into 7. 4 goes into 7. We are left with 3. 2 goes into 3. We are left with 1. And 1 goes into 1. And we are doing an 8-bit register, so we want 8 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I want another one to represent the negative. All right, so what are the placeholders that we have that, are, that go into 103? Hmm? 2 to the 6. 2 to the 6. 2 to the 5. 2 to the 2. 
2 to the 1 and 2 to the 0. 1, 1, 1. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. Same thing for the top. So I want the first one to be positive and the second one to be negative. So the leftmost sign bit is going to be zero since I want this one to be positive. And for this one, I want one. So that one can be negative and I fill the rest with zeros. And there you go, guys. That is how you do sign magnitude uh, for binary numbers. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to hear from me again, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for some more educational content and for some more computer organization courses. Have a blessed day.